2009. He left in 2011 having led the Synchro pair and then moved on to fly in the Tucano as a flying instructor before returning to lead the team in 2015. In from the left now, this is Phoenix. Yeah. On the leader's right wing is the first of our lead pilots this year. He's Red 2, fly left to Toby Keeley. Toby is a former Tornado GR4 pilot, he then moved on to instruct on the Hawk, but in the Hawk's new guys, the Royal Air Force's newest advanced jet trainer, what we call the Hawk Team Mark II. Toby was in fact a Royal Demonstration Pilot in 2015 for the Hawk T2. Upside down now, reaching two and a half thousand feet of this rock, 400 miles an hour, the closest miles of the aircraft, around six feet away from each other. motto, lest we forget, a very important message that needs to be passed on to all future generations. Looking to the front left now, the shape of Spitfire is about to change as we get ready for a fabulous dynamic manoeuvre in the first half of this show. And if you look at the formation on the leader's left wing is the next of our new pilots. He's Red 3, Flight Lieutenant Dan Lowe's. Dan is a former Typhoon pilot. He spent a number of tours on the front line and then became a qualified weapons instructor. More recently has been on the Test and Evaluation Squadron. Looking left, the smoke is on. Eight and nine switch to red and blue smoke as they start to roll around the other seven aircraft in Tornado. Making it hard for reds eight and nine to continue this turn. Red one enters a 3G left hand turn. famous five and at the back in the straight line are red six seven eight and nine their collective name as a formation is Jippo. Jippo is the nickname of the gentleman who first led the back four aircraft back in 1968 when the red arrow started flying nine ship display so now rolling out over this fabulous lineup of spitfire aircraft the white smoke is on get your cameras ready for the detonator <laughs> Enid split at the top now keep your eyes on Jippo. Focus. 
chased down by Red 9. These four jets now descending to 100 feet. Their closing speed is 820 miles an hour. And they get ready to fly the Jippo Pass. Stack top to bottom with five at the very back, one at the top, two, three, and four in between. Red one enters a left hand turn. The following pilots input a lot of rudder using their feet to swing the jets out like a pendulum. Reds three and five on the left as they continue this left hand turn. The shape is battle. The jets are around 20 feet apart in this shape. All five jets now pressing the top right button on the control column to operate the red smoke. Now they use their natural fun position where the white smoke button sits to switch back to white smoke.
Ready for a 6G turn? This is the carousel. In 6G, the pilots work very hard. Everything in their bodies is six times heavier than usual, so they're working hard to stop the blood from pooling in their feet and out of their brains to make a blackout. So they're inflating trousers to help that. They'll cross, they'll round the front, they'll swap back to white smoke as they finish their final maneuver in the carousel. Duxford, please put your hands together for the synchro pair. One rolling, he puts his red smoke on, he pitches up to draw the mathematical symbol for infinity around the rest of the formation. This is the infinity break. You've been watching the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team.